For most of the 20th century, the number 96 was the highest number ever worn by a Major League Baseball player. And if you're from this area, then you're familiar with a Major League Baseball player who got his start right here on this mound and who got permission from the league to pay homage to his hometown of 96. Bill Vazell put the town of 96 on the map. In his short career, Bill Vazell won Rookie of the Year in 1944 and pitched in Game 6 of the 1948 World Series. But he's less known for his stats than the number on his back. He loved his hometown. Harold Forrester grew up in 96, just down the street from the Textile Mill baseball field, which now sits silent. His dad was a catcher for the local team and would normally come home with a bruised hand from catching the hard-throwing Vazell brothers. But it was Bill who broke through to the majors, and Harold met him around 1946. Uh, Bill, of course, was in the, in the majors at that time, but he would come home during the, during the wintertime, as I told you, they didn't, they could not afford to feed their family. They had to find jobs. And so I've known Bill from, from the first grade. In 1949, Vazell held a benefit game in 96 to raise money for Jackie Spearman, a young girl battling cancer. Harold was a bat boy during that game, its legacy recorded in a local history book. The classy Boston Braves hurler acted in dramatic fashion. He secured commitments from both textile and major league. Pazell's all-star game came off without a hitch. Overflowing crowd of 2,700 joined cheers for the players as well as Miss Spearman. Always a sports fan, later in life, Harold would become a football referee. And what number would he choose to wear? 96, of course. I was a supervisor official, so I basically was one assigned the numbers. The old 96er died in 2005, just two days after his 86th birthday. But his town will continue to pay tribute to the man who put the town on his back. In 96, Patrick Hushin, WIFF News 4.